All right, so in the last video, I showed you how to use the pen tool to trace over this chicken. Now, um, you'll notice that it does create some problems sometimes where you get these sharp little dagger shapes that form. Okay, in uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. But um, at the moment, I'm just going to take and get rid of this one. Okay, so I can take that path and hide that path. It's all gone. So in this one, what I want you, want you to understand is that any shape is mutable. Okay, you can take any shape and reform it into any other shape. So right now I created that box. It has no stroke. It has no fill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a stroke of black and a fill of white. And then let's take and make the fill none. All right. So I just went to the defaults down here. You can see it's those little uh, icon there next to the colors. Um, okay, so what the you need to do as a next step. <clears throat> All right, so if I take and go to the pen tool, which is currently sitting on that one. Okay, remember you can tear this off by clicking and holding, and when you get that little icon out by the side, I click that and then I can quickly move between them. For this technique, I do want to use that. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to pick four parts on this thing and this uh, chicken shape, and I'm going to line up with those four parts. So using the white arrow, the direct select tool, so that I'm only grabbing that one piece, I'm going to grab there, and I'm going to put the second one here. I'm going to put the second one down here. And uh, let's put the other one up at the top of the tail. All right, looks exactly like chicken, right? All right. So what you need to do at this point is start manipulating what you've already got. Okay, so one way that I can do it, actually, is if I go to the pen tool, I can add new anchor points. Okay, so I know that this point is going to be good here. I need to create a point up here for the beak. Okay, it doesn't matter where I click on this line. If I click right there, okay, it'll work. If I click somewhere else, it'll work. Now, a shortcut to know is if I hold down the control key, it's going to switch the arrow to whatever the last arrow I worked with is. And the last arrow I worked with was the white because I took and lined it up with that point. So while it's on that white arrow, I can click and target that one piece right there. Okay, I'm holding down the control key while I do it. So I didn't actually change tools. I'm still on the pen tool. And that allows me to go right back to the pen tool when I let go. So it's a, it's a handy little shortcut. All right, so I brought that one up roughly where I want it to be. I can take and fine tune it if I want. Okay, but I can take the second one and go ahead and stretch that one into place. If you've ever used Play-Doh, it's kind of like that. You're causing it to stretch and form and move where you want it to move. Okay, now for this one, I'm going to take that one and move it up to the point of comb here where these are going to meet. And I'm going to do the same here. Now, each time I'm letting off control, I'm clicking on the line. So there's that little plus sign that's next to the pen tool. So it's creating a new anchor point on the line. If you accidentally click off out here, it's going to do something like that. So I can press escape and then undo. It's going to put me back onto the line. All right, so I'm going to go through here and move each one of these into place. Okay, so it's going through a number of little steps there. Um, I'm going to take and put one more here for the bottom of this because this seems like a really big loop to try to do with just two anchor points. Whoops, see, I just did it. I accidentally clicked, undo. Okay, the, I, the goal in Illustrator is you wanna create something with as few anchor points as possible. Now this one is a nice, easy curve, so I think I can do it from here to here, but this one, it curves over and then it kinda of curves back on itself a little bit. I can't quite do it that way. Anyway, um, so I'm going to take and move these into place. Now, I'm not going to go and do the outline on this whole chicken, I don't think. I don't know. If it starts going quickly, maybe uh, maybe I will. Okay, so I'm just going to click and create new points. Now, this is another one. It looks like I can make that curve go all the way around this way. Okay, but I do want to bring one right there. And I'm going to bring one right there. 
Okay, and I'm not sure if I want to make the legs or not, but I will, I will leave them off at the moment. <clears throat> the legs, the wing, the eye, those are things you can always add later. All right, so I'm going to zoom in a little. And remember the hand tool. If you press and hold the space bar on your keyboard, you'll go to the hand tool. And I'm going to start right up here on the comb. Okay, so again, I can click and hold the shift key, or the, sorry, the control key. It's going to flip to the last arrow used. And if I hold the alt key, it's going to flip to this anchor point tool. Okay, so I'm going to hold control and let's move that over just a little bit. I want to create that as a straight line. Okay, but then I need the anchor point tool. Whoops. I need the anchor point tool to drag that out a little bit. Okay, now I can see that that other side is going loopy in a way that I don't want, but that's okay. If I grab the shift key, or I keep saying the wrong key. If I hold down control and I grab that handle there with the white, I can tuck it in, okay, and it's back to being straight. Okay, now at this one, I don't want to try doing it all with one anchor point. Okay, it's possible sometimes. Okay, but it usually doesn't come out quite right. So I'm going to go to this side and let's get that one to do what I want it to. Okay, so then I play around between the two anchor points. Okay, until I get the shape the way that I like. Okay, again, I'm just holding down the control key so I have the white arrow. I'm not paying attention to what this side's doing because I'm focused right here. All right, that one, I'm liking it. So now I hold Alt again to get the, that little other arrow thing. And if I take and drag that up like that, it doesn't manipulate the other side. Okay, if I'm using the white arrow, it would have. Okay, but once I break them, once I've broken them apart, I can now manipulate this side as much as I want. Okay, as long as it's a straight line between the two, though, you can't. All right, so on the next one, um, let's go ahead and drag that one out. So that's looking pretty good. So let's take that one up like that and drag this one out. All right, liking that one already. So take and drag this one up and make a new handle coming out this way and drag in around to where I want. So remember, it's Alt to create new handles and it's uh, Control to manipulate them. Okay, so this one, I've got a long stretch going from there to there. Let's make a new handle here. You can see this one... It, as I pull it out straight, so if I'm on control, okay, if you want it to be a nice even curve, then you want to keep, whoops, lost my form here. Okay, there you go. If you want it to be a nice even curve, then you want to keep those handles straight. Okay, as so this one I won't break apart because I want I want it to be even here. I don't want it to have a corner the way this does. Okay. So I can manipulate that a little bit. And if you miss the handle, that's what happens. You accidentally slide the chicken around. I probably should lock that layer. Let me go ahead down here to the image layer and hit the lock key. And now I won't accidentally drag the chicken around. Okay, so round over here. To this side, I do need to create a new point. And this one I want to play around with a little bit. I can pull that out more. And if I push this one this way, I can get that curve back. Okay, but if uh, it doesn't look like it's doing what I want it to, which I can't, uh, it's not quite giving me the curve that I want, I'm going to take and move this point down to here instead. Okay, so it's basically going to be like one of these other parts. And let's take that and move it in. And tuck this one back some more. <clears throat> now keep in mind when you're doing it this way, you are also affecting whatever is, whatever is going on on the other side. Okay, so straighten that one out. Okay, and break this one apart. Okay, to get that one to have the look that I want. All right, so then you can continue on the rest of the way throughout 
And if I hide the chicken layer, you can see I'm forming a pretty decent looking chicken there. Okay, and that's all started with a cube, just a box, just made a rectangle, okay, and drew that in. All right, now I'm going to show you a third way to do it in the next video.